our sun. Astronomers call it Sol. And that's why the planets that orbit the sun make up what we call the solar system. Mercury, very close to the sun and so hot and dry. It looks very much like our moon with craters and some smoother areas and it is the smallest planet in the solar system. Venus, sometimes called the Earth's sister because it's about the same size and has similar gravity but it is very hot with many more volcanoes than the Earth. Venus is covered in thick clouds of sulphur dioxide, deadly to life. The Earth, sometimes called the Blue Planet, about two-thirds is covered in water. It's just the right sort of place and just the right distance from the Sun to support life. Mars, the red planet once had running water. Did it support life? And could life even exist there now? Jupiter is the first of the gas giants. It is so big that if it were hollow, all the other planets in the solar system could fit inside it. Great storms can be seen on its gassy surface. One of them, the Great Red Spot, has been raging for hundreds of years. Saturn, famous for its rings. They look solid when you see them from Earth, but they are made up of millions of lumps of ice orbiting the giant gas planet. Uranus, another huge world made mostly of gas. We don't know a lot about it. We do know that it's a long, long way from the sun and so very, very cold. Neptune is the fourth largest planet, way out towards the edge of the solar system. It is about 30 times as far from the Sun as we are. Beyond Neptune is Pluto. It used to be thought of as a planet, but now we know that it is just one of many large objects way out at the very edge of the solar system. And there are many icy comets and odd-shaped rocks in the solar system. We call them asteroids and of course many moons. Some are cratered and rocky like our moon. Others have an atmosphere and even volcanoes. Jupiter's moon Europa may have underground lakes of flowing water. The solar system is an exciting place to explore with telescopes, with robot probes and with human imagination. We've discovered a great deal about our neighbour planets, but there's so much more to find out. The great scientist Sir Isaac Newton, who discovered so much about the planets and their orbits, said that even with all his knowledge, he was like a child playing on the seashore, while the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. With so much still to discover, many people find that exploring the solar system is a wonderful experience. Thank you.